Hey, 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 y'all come on in here. What's going on, y'all? What's going on, y'all? you guys i am coming in the room trying to that light is really bright uh, i'm coming in the room to let y'all know that i too did some shopping a lot of people have gone out there and done the um dollar general haul hey 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 how's it going yeah, um, a lot of people have gone out there and they did the Dollar General haul. Um, I did a very little. Um, I had an appointment Tuesday morning. So by the time I got to Dollar General, I'm not going to call them vultures. But that's what the lady said in the store. The lady in the store said the vultures already got me. <laughs> I guess I would have been considered a vulture too, y'all. But if I did didn't have my appointment, but my appointment was a good thing, y'all. I had to take a test and two tests, and I passed them both. So I'm so excited about that. Yeah. Pat on the back. <laughs> uh, so, what I did want to come on here and talk to you guys about is my haul that I did do so that y'all can see what I got. Of course, you know, Mother's Day is over. Father's Day, if you're not making baskets, you should be making baskets by now. I'm really done with my Father's Day baskets. I am just waiting on four different gifts to come in the mail so that I can make my last four Father's Day gifts. And then I'm going to start posting them and it should be by the 26th. I can start posting them and putting prices out there so people can see, okay? But, as you know, as we are um, deplenishing, as uh, I would say, if it's a lack of a better word, uh, deplenishing our, um, our inventory, it's important for us to get out there during these times where they're having these wonderful sales and mm. to restock our shelves. <laughs> Apologize, you guys. I had a call in the middle of that. I apologize. Uh, but thank you for hanging with me today. Um, so as we are um, finishing with, we've done with Valentine's and Easter. And hopefully you guys had business in between all of the holidays. That your work that you put out show forth such professionalism. Uh, that you guys were able to get clients for other reasons. I know I did, so I'm excited about that, you guys. I even got booked for a baby shower, two of them. Oh, and they're in June and July. So, I will be coming online, creating my centerpieces so that you guys can see my ideas for centerpieces for these baby showers. Let me know what you think. But as of right now, we're talking about replenishing for our basket making business. So, like I said, because we didn't done Valentine's, we didn't done Easter, we have done Mother's Day, and I pray everybody's basket celebration events were blessed and highly favored. Um, I started off making approximately about uh, 60 baskets. My 60 went to 80. And I was like, okay, I'm done with 80 baskets. I'm happy. That's as most as I've ever made. Y'all ended up with like 100 baskets. Because there's something about this creativity when it comes to making baskets that you just sometimes can't control it. And if you got inventory, oh, you really in trouble, right? You're just making, making, making. But it's better for you to make it. Put it out there. Sorry for the table shaking. Put it out there for the people to see instead of inventory sitting on your shelves, right? So again, we're talking about replenishing our inventory because our holidays have been so good to us. Our customers have been so good to us and we have did a great job at selling. So I did end up with still 25 baskets. 
I was in a slow pace area. So um, next year, I will adventure out next year, okay? And so um, I'm, I'm going to be making more even next year. So I'm trusting the Lord to continue to increase me. Y'all say it with me. Increase me, Lord. <laughs> Amen. So now we are about to talk about these wonderful shops that everybody is doing. Dollar General's got a shop going on. Family Dollar's got a shop. I mean, uh, not a shop, but we're doing those shops. But all these guys have had these wonderful clearance prices. And as y'all can see, because of Family Dollar having such a good clearance price, I was able to get me a couple of these. George Foreman grills, okay? And my package is already done together. All I need to do is shrink wrap mines. If you're watching my page, you already see what's on the top of this. You've already seen it. If you have not seen my page, if you guys could like the program, if you don't like it, you could thumbs down. You could say, look, you're boring. <laughs> you don't know what you're talking about. Any of them things is fine with me. Uh, but I pray you like me enough to give me a thumbs up okay but if you uh, did not see my videos um on um youtube um then you can't really see the top of this so let me try to give y'all a view okay so i've done this from doing parts of my shoppings including my susie my Su lazy susans that i have that was on clearance at family dollar i couldn't wait I cannot wait to show y'all some of my stuff. I had to use some of my stuff that I went shopping with. So, um, so thank you for the like. I appreciate you so much. Uh, so what we're doing now is we're replenishing. We're going out to these places and we're getting these sales and we're putting inventory back into our baskets. Why you ask? Oh my God, y'all yummy tea on while I'm on. Y'all know what that means. <laughs> That's not good for me. <laughs> She's so awesome. Um, so what that means is that, or why, why are we buying stuff and there's no current holiday? Well, we got Father's Day, of course. Um, but we also do have other things. We got Juneteenth. I don't know if you guys celebrate Juneteenth, but we do have Juneteenth. We still have graduates, graduates out there. Graduation ceremonies usually end at the end of June. Um, and then we do have other things that our business should have brought us new business, such as making baskets for birthdays, for baby showers, for, um, condolences, getting well, get well soon, um, a romantic picnic thing basket. There's tons of them, the, um, housewarming gifts. So, we should be creating these type of baskets on our downtime so that we can advertise to the public that, hey, we're not just holiday basket makers. We all year around basket creators, right? So we don't just make basket, but we're very creative in the things that we do. At least I would like to think so. I mean, y'all can tell me if I'm not, but I would like to think that I'm creative. I love what I'm doing currently, even down to the small stuff like this. Is it in a small plastic thing? I put a little um, sticker on there that says you are father of the year. And then I just have uh, some nuts, power stick, lotion, soap, and then this is an aftershave. It is a name brand. And then I threw some more of this originals in there. Something small to try to um, appease all of our customers, right? And so, um, if this year for Father's Day is the first year I'm doing Father's Day. So, I don't know about you guys. But this is my first year doing Father's Day. So, I'm really excited about it. Thank you so much, Patricia. Um, what I'm excited about is that I've decided for the men to do um, a duplicate. So even with the grill that I just showed you, I have two of them. I have a red set and then I have a blue set. So just like the little um, thing that I just showed you, I have the 
blue set and then I have a green set but they're the exact same and I can charge the exact same price I also have my toolbox I hopefully you guys have seen um, my toolbox and toolboxes on my YouTube channel and you are aware of what they look like already okay so I've talked enough you guys let's get to the knit tech gritty okay um some of my items are up on my shelf already like I said when I went shopping I just I I couldn't wait to do the video y'all I just kept going and kept going okay so I want to get that light out of y'all face okay so I just kept going I kept going. if y'all can see that I have replenished my shelves over here so this shelf that I'm pointing at is all new stock a couple of items on there is left over from breaking down my Mother's Day baskets. But uh, a lot of that is new Plymouth stuff. And up above it, I have like house shoes and pillows. Um, house shoes, pillows, and a couple of towels up there that I got from either Dollar General or I got from Family Dollar, either or. And then up top, I'm going to see if y'all can see up top. Y'all see I have my bases that I have been out shopping, getting these things for a little of nothing, 30 cents here, 10 cents here, 25 cents there, a dollar here. So I also have a shelf right there that is a new shelf full of materials that I have done. And then you guys can't see, but over here, see, over there, I have two other shelves full of material, three shelves full of inventory, you guys, that I have been replenishing. Let me tell y'all, this is the first time in the business where I was able to make enough money to stock my shelves, okay? Now... I need restraint. <laughs> because I've been shopping like crazy, y'all. I've been shopping like crazy. So, um, I'm going to show y'all my haul that I did. Most people did the Dollar General haul. <laughs> you said, I, I'm trying to see, girl, my eyes are bad. This is a beautiful basket. Did you say where the box on the top came from? Thanks for sharing. You're welcome, Shirley. Um, the box on the top. Are you talking about on top of the grill, Shirley? The bag that I have sitting on top of the grill that says Grill Master. Is that what we're talking about? If that's what you're you're speaking, um, those I got from Dollar Tree. I got those bags. Those are actually bags, and I have small boxes that I put together inside to create the foundation to, to strengthen up the bag. And then I made my own backers on the back of them to help support the back of the bag. And then I stuffed it with um, tissue paper just a little bit. And then I put everything in there. So everything is balanced and stable. So if you're looking for those um, Grill Master, they are bags. And they come from Dollar Tree. Okay. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to get started with showing you guys the items that I did. I apologize. When I get to talking, I don't know about y'all when I do a live, but I get dehydrated. So I have to keep going. Okay, so let's start here. These I actually got from Dollar Tree. And I, okay, so I picked these up at Dollar Tree. <laughs> I picked these up at Dollar Tree. Um, it is an inflatable cup holder. So I'm not sure <laughs> if I want to put these in my Father's Day bags. So let me show y'all. That's what it is. I picked it up thinking that this was an infant um, floaty for a baby. And that I was going to create a summer 
gift basket with the inflation of this thing and sticking stuff inside of it. But when I got home, I realized that it's, it is a uh, inflatable cup holder. It's an inflatable cup holder. So I have two of these. One is a flamingo. And the other one is a, uh, I forgot what these things are called, uh, seahorse. One is a seahorse and one is a flamingo. So it's really what you do is you put, while you're in the pool, you put the cup inside of the floating. Okay. So I have to rethink these um, <laughs> because they really aren't for infants. For some reason, because I'm getting older, y'all, my eyes were playing tricks on me. I need to go to get see an eye doctor. But yes, I saw inflatable, but I thought I saw infant. So I picked it up. <laughs> Help me, Jesus. So I picked them up. So we're going to figure out what we're going to do with these cup holders. I would really like to put them in my Father's Day baskets. What do you guys think? I mean, I know they're not the typical gift. But, you know, men like their drinks. They like their cold drinks. That's so the women. But, I mean, they get in the pool. They like to have a drink with them. So, y'all let me know what y'all think if I should put them in a Father's Day basket. That is my dilemma with those. And then I saw these. These are beach balls. So, I have Ernie. I have Monster. Cookie Monster. And then I have... Uh, uh, what's his name? Gr the Grouch. Okay. So these were at Dollar Tree. They are inflatable beach balls. So, y'all, I can use these in my Easter baskets when I do my earning thing, especially for, like, my toddlers and stuff like that. I can use these to put into my Easter basket. I also can use them to make a summer basket. Um, because summer is here and people like to go to the beach and be summer inspired. So I can also use these to put them in the, now these were $1.25. So this wasn't no clearance. This was just $1.25. I grabbed them while I can. Y'all know when we are doing our theme baskets, it is hard to find your theme items right in that season right so right in that season people are getting the same items you are getting but if you're out there and you see these items different items for your theme baskets grab them now while they are available okay because come uh easter you're gonna be like oh i should have grabbed such and such and i should have did this grab them y'all grab them Put them in your inventory. Um, I got these. These were just out. So these right here, you guys, I got these actually from Family Dollar. Uh, Family Dollar is having a clearance on a lot of their items, such as um, like uh, oral care items. They're having a clearance on... Um, a lot of their stuff. I The, the George Foreman's. I got these... Um, let me see if you guys can see. Let me let me try to grab it. Y'all forgive me. I'm still in my PJs. So I got these right here from Family Dollar. I got three of each. And a lot of people are leaving them on the shelf. So these were normally three dollars. Um, these were normally three dollars, and um, they were actually fifty percent off, right? So I don't have a problem with spending like a dollar or something. Did I finish talking about this? This I got from Family Dollar. Got them from the same place. These were fifty cents. So you can go get these. They have the kids and the adults. I got some for my household for the adults. And I grabbed these for my grandkids um, to have, okay? So, those will go to them. So, I grabbed these from um, Family Dollar. They are $1.50 a piece. But I think they are worth 
the dollar fifty cents because look, we can do tons of things with these. Like the girl that I was doing her baby shower, one of the reasons why I grabbed it was she was doing the bear theme, and I thought these would be great gifts for people. Or I can do a floral cloud arrangement and stick them on her tables, and it will still stay with the theme. But she changed it, so. Um, but that didn't that didn't hurt me any because I can still use these. You can use these for get well, uh, happy birthday to a toddler. You can do this, especially if you got a nickname for your man and you call him Bear. Here you go, Bear. We got a little gift for you. <laughs> you know how we had them pet names for our honey. Um, my daughter calls her uh, boyfriend uh, Panda. So, uh, for some reason, she calls them a panda. So, uh, we have a panda cup as well. But all of these are cups that you can stuff, that you can put up to, um, skewers and have things sticking out of them. You can do flower arrangements. So, if I was you guys, I would go to Family Dollar and grab these up. I got three of each color. Three of each color. And I have a shelf that I put up this whole housing goals um okay and so and then i got two cups that says tired as a mother from family dollar as well um they are normally six dollars i got them for i think 250 um they weren't quite they were half off a little over half off so i'm not sure but i, I got two of those because it's one of those let me show you it's one of these cups and these y'all know these are not cheap oh i thought they had the steel inside this does not have the steel inside this cup but these are uh wine tumblers uh double walled wine tumblers so 12 four ounces um cups that i got for like i said 250 275 so i grabbed these because these cups are not cheap in any store so to, to see them at that price, it was great. So I only grabbed two of them. And I have been still seeing them in the uh, Family Dollar. If you are in my local area in Detroit, I'm trying to wait till they drop a little bit more. I don't want to pay two more bucks for some more. Okay, so if I'm going to increase my inventory with these, I'm waiting for them to drop. Okay. Uh, okay. Thank y'all. That is still here with me. I appreciate y'all so much. Let's get to the next tip. Grit tea. Um, these I did this morning. I got these. I stopped. Y'all, my new adventure started today. And I just got off at 8 o'clock in the morning. These right here. Beautiful blue vases I got from Dollar General. Everybody know what that yellow bag means by now, right? <laughs> uh, I got these... Um, they were a dollar. They were 75 cents off. But, of course, I will pay anything under a dollar because it's cheaper than Dollar Tree. Y'all know that's my saying. Cheaper than Dollar Tree. Okay. So, I got two of each color. Here's my receipt. 75 cents each. See, it says four at 75 cents each. Okay, so I got these for, that's a different blue. See the difference? And these are the only two colors they had. So that's what these are. And I have three of each. I have three of these. Beautiful vases. They're going to go up there with my other vases. And when it comes to, and actually I can use these for Father's Day. I could put a nice little small floor arrangement inside here. I can do snacks inside of here and sell it just like that. Like, I can go get, I just thought about this. I can go get me some, um, what do they call? Um, jerky, beef jerky, Slim Jims, right? And put a few in here, Slim Jims in here, wrap it up and sell it. Something cheap. Right? Something cheap and affordable. And I think that's what I'm going to do, you guys. So I'm going to keep two of these out because that's my model to do two of each item. And if they decide, oh, you know, those sold really good, then y'all know what I'm doing, though. I'm adding to my inventory. No longer do I have 30 at this point. I probably got 35 with my 
other items that are coming. I got these for 50 cents. They are from Family Dollar. I got these for 50 cents. I was going to put them in my barbecue um, kit, um, but I didn't have two of these. So I just decided not to because I was doing duplicates. Okay. So next. Dollar Journal. Now, everybody else that went to Dollar Journal, I promise you they're doing a different haul than I'm doing because, again, when I went to Dollar General, all the stuff I was looking for was completely gone. And shout out to Nessa. Okay? Nessa is out there cleaning up. She is not playing with y'all. Y'all make sure y'all follow her because she going to show you what needs to be got. Okay? And she do a little bit of couponing. Okay. So these were 50% off, um, more than I would prefer to pay. So that means I paid $5 for this. And it's definitely more than I would rather like to pay. It's 100 pieces of military kit. So I got it for $5. And I got it for my Easter for next year to put into an Easter basket. So um, again, they didn't have... Hardly, this was the only one that I saw. So I grabbed it with it being 50% off. If it went to 75, it would have been gone. So I grabbed it. That's probably most expensive that I spent my whole journey this week that I've been shopping. I also have these um, frozen um, puzzles, 48-piece puzzles. Um, these are uh, marked down to $6. Sorry. Yeah, $6. It'll probably look upside down to you guys. It was marked down to $6, but I got it for $1.25. So I grabbed them. With the quickness, I grabbed three of them. So let me put them in the bag. I grabbed three of those for $1.25. You're not going to go to Dollar Tree and find this product. So I grabbed it. Okay. And then I got, for my Father's Day baskets you know what's really nice i could do the slim jams right with this and that's it isn't that a good idea you guys just put this and this in a container with the slim jams simple right um this is called true and practical jokers game it's for that father that likes to be playful and jokeful. And so we're going to add this to our Father's Day basket. And then I also found this little toy right here at Dollar Tree for a dollar. I mean, at, yeah, at Dollar General for a dollar. So this yellow was supposed to be 50% uh, off. And for some reason, it rung up cheaper than that. So, I was happy about that. So, this, again, is something that will go into my uh, inventory for Easter, for a little boy's birthday, even for, uh, I can't use it for an infant because it's too advanced, but for a little boy's birthday, anything that has blues clues, little boys love them. So, we're going to use that for Easter. Okay. All right, so we are done with the small haul from Dollar General. Everybody else did these massive hauls. Uh, Lady Fee, um, I believe uh, Yulena did them as well. Um, they are cleaning up out there, okay? But the people beat me this time on the Tuesday, but they ain't going to get me next Tuesday if we have a penny sale. Well, maybe because my new adventure starts. No. I'll be able to go first thing in the morning, matter of fact. Okay, so let's get into our next haul. So because I did not get a haul from Dollar General, I decided to go to uh, Family Dollar and see what they had because I had already been shopping. I got the George Foreman's. I got those nice cups to add to my inventory. Really happy about that. Um, and there was a couple other things, like I said, the knives. Um, oh, I got a big dish set. Uh, for six dollars, uh, not a dish set, a big pot and pan set for six dollars. You guys, 
Um, I have a Mother's Day basket that I'm going to break down and put with that. I had a kitchen set. The kitchen set and the pot and pan set match perfectly, y'all. So even though it didn't sell, it's going to sell next time because either it's going to sell for a housewarming gift or it's going to sell for Mother's gift or Mother's Day gift, okay? So we are excited to put those two together in one basket. But I got these little flip-flops um to go with some of our beach themes um remember i said summer is here so we want to encourage summer this can go into there i have men's and women this is a size 910 it doesn't say if it's a lady or a man let me see this is a ladies ladies 910 they had these. These were all 50 cents, you guys. I got them because they were 50 cents. We can put these in any of our baskets. Um, this one right here is a ladies as well. This is a men's. This is a men's 8-9. And not many men have small feet like that, but the men's eight nine or a woman can wear them because they're black and they're basic right um i also got y'all know it's the fourth of july coming up soon so i'm gonna be sticking these and i was looking to find some more so i'm really gonna be going out i believe this is a man's yeah this is a man's 10 11 um so i'm definitely gonna be going out I almost stuck these in my Father's Day grill, but I, I'm going too fast. I got to have stuff for the 4th of July. I'm only going to make a couple of baskets. I don't know if y'all are doing baskets or not for the 4th of July, but I'm definitely going to be doing wreaths uh, for people to hang up and Juneteenth wreaths. Um, and then uh, I'm going to do just a couple of baskets just for some samples for the 4th of July. And then probably more like geared around barbecue. I have these little umbrellas to go with them. So, and then you know what? They, they match these little flip flops, these little umbrellas. So we're going to work it out. Yeah, we are going to work it out. Okay. Um, let's see. Oh, and then they had little kids ones too, y'all. 50 cents you know our kids be out there playing so i have a granddaughter that may be able to fit these i have another pair for a little kid for for july this is just it just say you they don't say boy or girl they just say you the little shark ones i'm probably gonna give these to my grandson And then these, these are so cute, you guys. They're like flip-flop slash jelly beans. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Okay, these were all 50 cents. And to me, they were worth grabbing. Um, we can do all kinds of things. These can be shower shoes. You know how people go on vacation and they get into these hotels and they get into the showers. They use them as sh shower shoes because some people don't like to step where everybody else has been and then i grabbed these you guys because um for um for easter i did more i did quite a bit of infant baskets um i did not expect to do infant baskets but they have these on clearance right now at family dollar so i grabbed them while i can this is a three-year-old um, sippy cup with a straw and then these are just um, containers snack containers and it's three of them and so they will work well together in a gift bag probably have a couple more than in here okay so here we go we're gonna move on i probably got them somewhere so here you are um i got this one Okay, those are for my infant and toddler baskets. Those are boys. These are my girls. And they were on clearance. So I grabbed them. I think these were like 10 cents. So I grabbed them. 
Okay. Y'all, I saw this there. As you can see, the bat, the box is a little open, but that's nothing that I cannot repair. Um, it's a little rip right there. And you know our clear tape that we use, our invisible tape, will hide that. So you would never even know that this was a rip or a tear in the gift. See? So I found this on clearance. It says $11, y'all, but I got this for $3. And I think they marked it down to $3 because of the fact that the box was ripped, but I don't have a problem with repairing that. And so this is going to go into my Father's Day basket, and I'm going to... I have some Barbasol items over here as well that I'm going to put this with. So I'm excited about that. Let me put these back, you guys. Thank you all for being in here with me. I appreciate you guys hitting the like button. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Because I am sitting here talking to y'all. Oh, I have some more of these. I'm going to take them upstairs. These are for the kids. So... Those, again, are 50 cents, you guys. Okay, I got the Ferrero Rogers. Um, they are normally $5.50. Um, they are normally $5.50 in the stores. Um, some places sell them more expensive than it, like Walmart. Um, they sell them more expensive than that. Um, but I got these for $2 and some change. I don't remember exactly. I think it may have been like... Two fifty, um, for uh, a case of Ferrero Roger. Can't beat that, okay? They were at Family Dollar, so I got them. I'm currently out of my Ferrero Rogers. Um, they do go quickly, and people love them, you guys. They love the taste of those. So, um, I did get this from Family Dollar. This was, uh, I believe this one was $2.00. For this 10-piece family storage set. Now, this is the exact same color as my pot and pan set. It's the exact same color as my oven covered. So, all of this is going to go into one big basket and make some mommy or homecoming. Okay, so it looked like I went away for a moment. Make somebody homecoming really nice. You guys, even if you get these, you can also use these as containers. You can stuff these with the barbecue items. You can stuff these with a bunch of snacks for the guys. I don't know if you guys give beer, but you can put beer in them with some snacks and just give them the one big container or the medium-sized container as a snack. So you, there's so much you can do with this, but I think I'm just going to put this in one big package. Get my bags, y'all. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna go next. I thought I had some more other items. Okay, so let me tell y'all, Family Dollar have is having a clearance on their pajamas. And most of their pajamas look like they're kind of Christmassy. So I went to town, you guys. These are two dollars. Um, they are normally eight dollars. And then they marked them down to seven, and now they're two dollars. And this is a men's um, large. This is a ladies extra large. This is a ladies large. So the large and large go to, go together. Um, this is a men's extra large. And then I think somewhere I have a pair of infant or kid pants so guess what we're selling for christmas you know how they love the matching pajamas so either i'm out there looking for some white tees which i was hope uh, white not white green or red t-shirts to put with these and make these a complete set for a family 
for Christmas, okay? Um, I went to Dollar, it was a family dollar or Dollar General. One of them is selling, Dollar General is selling um, Hanes t-shirts for a penny. And they cleared them out, you guys. And I was hoping that I was going to find some t-shirts to match these, but no luck so far. But we got Christmas, Christmas is far off, so we got time to keep searching, Okay. So, but right now we have a couples, so we can either do these for Valentine's. If they don't sell for Christmas, we can do the matchy matchy um theme, one male, one woman, matchy pair of pants, and then I have this um hook set that says his and hers that can go with it, and you know just build around that concept of a couple, right? Maybe throw in a bottle of wine, maybe throw in some um, wine cups, and then some Forever Rogers for your romantic night. There you go. Bam, you got a basket. Oh, and then they had these as well. Same price. These are $2 a piece, you guys. One man, one woman. Then they had it in this color as well for $2. And I did the same concept. I tried to match it up. Family, family to family, woman, man, just a couple so that we can have matching pajamas for Christmas. Okay. Then they had these as well. Um, I have some of these already in my men's baskets, so you can put these in your current men baskets because they look all seasonal. They don't look like they're just for Christmas. And technically, this is a checkered pattern as well. You could also put that with the Slim Jams, the game, and make it a set, right? So... Use your imagination when you pick up these items. Don't put yourself in a box. These are the other ones that they did. These are definitely Christmas. They got little snowmen on them. So these I have to use for Christmas. This is a mother, father, and child set. Um, There's the father one right here. So this is an actual four piece. It's two kids, a mother, and a father. And all of this will go in a family gift basket, okay? Mind you, these are $2 a piece, normally $8 and $5 for the kids and $8 for the adults. I cleaned up, y'all. I tried to take everything they had when it came to those uh, pajamas. I think that's it for those pajamas. Okay, so let me put these back. We have other pajamas that we got from, from Family Dollar. Like I said, I cleaned up. My mind was flowing what I can do with these things. What's coming up? Okay. They also had these pajama pants for $2. Now, these are summer ladies large i believe that's what this is pajama pants these are normally five dollars and i got them for two bucks and these are pajama bottoms they are at um family dollar and i took every pair that they had remaining so oh let me show you guys something also i have these house shoes that match the pair of pants, pajama pants, for the family. Now, I could not find any for the mom. I think these are men. No, these are ladies. And they're size, size 9. Size 6. I thought they were 9. And that's the... Uh, let me tell y'all, explain to y'all what the problem is, is... um. These are normally $7. They got marked down to $5, and I got them for $2. Bucks. Um, normally, what you when you're doing these clearances, you have to take the sizes that you dealt with, all right? So just be mindful when it comes to buying pajamas, when it comes to buying pants. 
you know, stick within a range. I will not go below a size six. That is the smallest that I would do. Size six, and I don't go past a size 10 for women. Okay, and then um, for men, I will not go below a size eight. And I'll go up to a size like 12 or 14, if they have 14s available for men. So that I have a range of sizes that I can accommodate my customers for. But this goes great with those pajama pants that I just showed y'all. That's another pair of pajama pants. <clears throat> so these are summer ones. So this can go, listen, this can go with the pajamas and it can go with the flip-flops, okay? So, these are summer pajama pants. And, of course, again, I'm out there looking for tank tops and t-shirts that I can find to put with these items. Now, this, this was the struck goal of the day for me at Family Dollar. These pajama sets are two-piece pajama sets. Is they two-piece? Is it? They are, it don't say, but it shows. Um, I thought maybe they were the three-piece because, you know, they were doing some that had the mask. But I can see the pants and I can see the top. So, I got these for $2. That is a woman's pajama set. It is fleece and um, it is a shirt and a pair of pants, you guys. $2. When I saw this, I took every pair I could find. <laughs> so this bag is full of, it's only three, but it's full of this color. Let me show you the other color. And then they had these. This color right here. $2. A pair of bottoms, micro fleece pajamas, and um, pants. So, I can do this. I can sell these as, um, as winter, again, as Christmas gifts. And, um, or if somebody's doing a wedding and they need, like, several pairs of matching pajamas... You can advertise it as that as well. If you have enough. If you have enough. Let's see. Making sure that I'm not getting any bags. Here is some more of those pajamas. Let me put them in the top bag. So y'all go to Family Dollar and get these pajamas. And, and um, Dollar General has all their hats and scarves and gloves on clearance. Okay, um, I also got here's another pair of pants. I also got these scarves for two dollars. Now, y'all don't start talking about our team here in Detroit, okay? We, we don't want to hear, we just <laughs> we still have some dedicated uh, um, tigers. Uh, fans so they had these on clearance for two bucks they're normally ten dollars um and then i got two because that's all that i saw um so for two bucks i didn't think they were bad now even for father's day if you wanted to it's it's winter but if you wanted to and you had a a thing you could stick one of these in there excuse me you can stick one of these in there if you want it to. Um, it's not red, but it could work with a Barbasol set if you wanted it to. Okay. You can stick those together if you wanted it to. But I'm going to save these for Christmas to make Father's Day baskets for Christmas. Okay. Because these are scarves. Oh, and I stuck this in here. This was from Dollar General, y'all. This is what I was talking about. These were 50% off. So one of these mugs 
Um, they look like it's beer in them, but they're not beer. Um, but, you know, guys tend to like their beer. You said you've seen a lot of those cups left behind. Even 70% off. What? These right here? Girl, I wish I'd have known. I wanted me some for Father's Day, but we're going to put this in with one of our baskets as well. Um, I got more pajamas. I told y'all, I took as many as my buggy could take when it came to the pajamas. So now I have to find a place for all this stuff to go. <laughs> All right, these were a dollar. These were a dollar at Family Dollar. This is a beautiful um, baby blanket. Yep, a baby blanket. It is super soft, you guys. So beautiful. And these were a dollar, and they didn't have. And they had just these two styles, and because they didn't have any boys, I just grabbed the two. So, these are cute. Grab them. They're family dollar. They're worth it. They are worth it. Let me get my last family dollar bag. Oh, and that's just the rest of those pajamas that I grabbed, you guys. I had a good day at Family Dollar. I thought I struck gold with all these $2 pajama sets. Okay, so my last part of my haul is um, I know a lot of you have gone to City Trend and uh, you picked up your colognes and stuff like that. Well, I don't have any more left. Everything that I stuck my uh, City Trend perfume into sold automatically especially the heels so guess what i did i took a trip to city trends to see if they had any more of those items because again we have to restock our shelf if somebody come in and say hey i want you to make a basket for my wife i want it sexual i want it sensual i want it beautiful and guess what this to me says sexy and sensual Right, we can make a beautiful gold and black basket. Put some Forever Rochers with there with that gold. Okay, so we have tons of things that we can do with these. So I only got a couple. I try to contain myself. I try to contain myself. So I got two of the gold and black, and then I got two of the dream girl oh they're gold and black as well but the gold is in this part of the shoe and the black is on the other part and if you can see y'all this is a stiletto where this is a heel can you see the difference this is a heel this is a stiletto okay and these ran me $3.99. So four bucks a piece. I was hoping I could find them on clearance at a cheaper price, but not so. But what I did get is five dollars off every $30 June 8th through the 14th hot summer savings. So I'm going back and I need to put this on the clipboard so I can remember. Um to go back during that time. Okay. So, I, I, they have other colognes and perfumes. I was just really interested in the heels because they're so sexy looking to me. So, but other thing that I did was I needed body lotions. I have tons of, like, body washes and, um, and now the, you know, the stilettos. And I really didn't have any um, body washes to go with them. So I did go and get the Love on the Beach. These were $2.99, you guys. Can't beat these. Um, and they're a good product. This one is Fresh Pomegranate. $2.99. And that one's actually a little bigger. 
Yeah, this one's eight full ounces, and this one is 10 for the exact same price. Now, if I would have known that, <laughs> I think I would have got more of these, but I just got two of them, and I got one of everything else. This is uh, vanilla. This is a vanilla scent. Um, I got so that one is eight ounces as well. I got this. I thought this was so pretty. Uh, it could go with the pajama pants. It can go with those flip flops. There we go. Summer fun, looking good. Okay, so um, Passion Island, eight full ounces. Um, I also have Sweet Pea Blossom, eight full ounces. Coconut Kiss, eight full ounces. Now, mind you guys, I paid two ninety nine for these. That looks so cute to me. Eight full ounces of Love and Seduce. And then my last one is French Love. I love Paris stuff. And it's pink, y'all. So you can't go wrong. Eight full ounces. So that was it. What day is this for? Valid. This Saturday. Okay, my $5 coupon. I didn't know what it is. And then they gave me another one of these. So I get to do, say, $10 on $60 if I choose to be. So y'all, technically... That is the end of my haul. I really had a wonderful time going out there feeling like I got great deals. Um, I am trying to contain myself <laughs> from going back out there because I know Dollar General still have penny items. Um, the store around the corner for me, they say that they have to take those items off the shelf and put some back later because people act ridiculous. Okay. So um, I may or may not but I think I'm at the end of my shopping haul. And again, I have some things coming from Timu for Father's Day. Um, I did order my banner and my tablecloth for Father's Day. I will not be putting out my pink skirt. We want to keep it manly. Um, I think I'm going to in invest in some black skirts. Um, but that will be for next year, not this year. Y'all, invest in your business, okay? I know when we make a mon little money, now, I'm going to tell y'all, I made about three grand this year. Um, this is my first year doing three grand. I think some of my gifts are underpriced. I should have priced them higher. And then I gave people discounts. So I lost a lot of money in nickel and diamond, people nickel and diamond you, okay? So next year, we're not doing that. We're not doing that because we're making them in all types of price ranges. So that way you say, oh, I was looking to spend $30. Okay, then you need to look down here. Because me taking $5 off here and $5 off there, um, I was doing $5 off if you purchase three baskets. So that I will probably keep. Um, that's what, $1.75 off each basket. So that I'm willing to do in order to keep my customers. So, um, but next year, we're not, we're not doing these large discounts, y'all. I should have made $5,000 this year. If I'd have sold every one of my baskets, I should have made $5,000 for Mother's Day. And that would have been my largest uh, profit uh, or income from making baskets. And I only did three this year, but that's still the largest amount that I've ever done. And I think for selling um, 80 baskets, I should have made more um, than that. But next year is a whole nother story my mindset is a little bit clearer on how to do this business and how to save money that's where your biggest profit is going to come from when you're catching these deals when you're catching these sales this is going to be this is going to give me the largest profit amount because i'm gonna tell you when i put them in my basket i'm going to charge the regular price so that's normally six dollars that's not what i'm going to charge they are selling at $2.99. That's what I'm putting in my basket as the item. If they go on clearance and they're $1.99, I'm still going to charge $2.99 because if I have to make the basket, okay, so and sitting with me during this time. I appreciate all your comments. I appreciate 
everything. I'm so appreciative. I have become a 400 subscriber person and I'm so excited about it, you guys. Why don't y'all do me a favor and share, like, subscribe. Y'all hit that bell for the notification so every time you see me on here, you will get a notification and we can sit and chat and be like, hey girl, okay? So y'all, until then, y'all have a blessed one and don't forget y'all, be divine.